Welcome to the Gateless Gate Cone 36. This is Goso's No Words, No Silence. And this could be the pinnacle of the No Words, No Silence cones. We're kind of getting there. Now, Goso was also the one who gave us two souls. So that one's a really good one to uh, do before this, cone 35. It kind of sets the scene for thinking a little bit of a greater, more spiritual, more, uh, what would you say, more like... Um, a higher level of thinking about this cone, and I think that will help quite a bit because, like I said, this is the pinnacle. And so we've seen a lot of no words, no silence cones before, and so we want to get a little bit more out of this and try and understand what this cone is supposed to teach us beyond the others. So check out cone 35. The other rule with this cone is that we are not going to punch anyone. This is one of those cones that have a... Uh, kind of a little guideline with them. Sometimes if people read them the wrong way, they're going to go punching someone. Hopefully not. But uh, this, this cone has a no punching rule. It's all symbolic. So this is how it goes. Goso, he says, when you meet a traveler on the road, without words, without silence, how do you greet them? This is the common words, no words trap. Without words or without silence, you're supposed to be able to do this. Because if you fall into one or the other, you fall into duality. So without duality, you're supposed to be able to talk to this person. That is the challenge put forward in this cone. Mumon says, if you can answer this, it will be very heartening. Which is kind of encouraging because that means Mumon believes in you. He believes that you can do this at this point. That you can answer without words and without silence. And then he says, if you cannot do this then you must watch out everything. And the reason he's saying that is it means that there's still... The whole point of the gateless gate is to be able to act with reality as it is and to be in reality as it is. If you can't answer without words or without silence, it means that you're still on this process and that the boundless reaches of reality are around you and you don't realize it yet. You're not one with it. Uh, you're still trying to understand and learn. And one of the catches here is we're always trying to do that. So that's what Mumon is saying. He's saying, look, we're on a journey. If you can answer this, it will be very heartening. You'll make the whole world better if you can do this. But if you cannot answer it, then you must watch out everything because everything is around you and you do not understand it yet. And then he has this interesting line. He says, if, uh, if you uh, are meeting someone along the way and you don't understand this, then Greet him with an uppercut. And what he's saying, he's saying is if, if you don't understand this, if you try and greet him with words and with silence, you're still at the level of the physical. You don't understand everything that's built up on top and, and beyond the physical. And so you should just be honest with that person and be like, hey, I am basically at the, uh, at the level of the physical and here's my proof. Pop. Um, luckily, it's just symbolic. He's saying, don't get, on the, don't get stuck on the physical. Go higher. Figure out how to go higher. And that is the lesson of Cone 36. Goso's no silence, no words. <laughs>